Do you own a PC with Ryzen 3600 in it? Are you tired of seeing these temperatures on your PC? Well then, don't worry my friends, because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best temperature out of your Ryzen 3600 with the stock cooler without undervolting. So let's get started with today's video. Okay, so right now we're on the screen and basically for this thing, we would need a baseline of like the idle temperature. So we got the CPU temp application right here and we're going to click on it. Now we're just gonna click on yes and you can see the maximum that we reached while idling doing absolutely nothing is 79 and the minimum is 60 degrees celsius and that is kind of hot for the situation that we're in right now we are not doing anything we are not like playing any games or anything like that and you can see the temperatures are still rising and like going down towards the like 70 to 60 degrees celsius so right now we're just gonna jump into the bios and i'm just gonna show you guys what are the things that you would need to do but before that we are just gonna go and get a small baseline of performance first so we're just gonna close this thing and let's jump into the gta 5 and get a small baseline of what the performance is like with all the options enabled and then we're gonna disable it and then we're gonna come back to see if there is any performance drop or something like that so let's go okay so right now we're in the main menu of gta 5 and you can see we are hitting how high temp this 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 is very bad to be honest because we are not doing anything and we are literally sitting in the menu and we are hitting so much high temperatures uh, so we are gonna go to the settings and run a small benchmark or something like that to get a like performance baseline as i said uh, i don't know why gta does not support like that kind of like a chart of performance baseline uh, so we can like see everything but anyways let's just go into the advanced graphics there is a benchmark and run so uh while this is running i'm just gonna cut it uh, i mean i'm just gonna cut this portion and i'm gonna see you at the benchmark okay so right now we are in the benchmark and you can already see the cpu is going above that 70 degree mark though it is kind of surprising to me because yesterday i was testing and through the benchmark and it hit about 84 degrees celsius and right now it's just hovering around that 75 76 at around that uh, point and you can see this like not over 120 fps it just touched about 140 yes there is the 140 but i'll say just there is just because of the loading screen and stuff like that uh let's see if it actually hits the 80 because uh, last i mean yesterday when i tested it, it hit the 80 right now you can see it's the 88 fps okay i think that was over 80 did i just see an 80 there Inspect Twitter. Okay, there is an 84. So as I was saying, uh, sorry for the excitement. I should not be excited to see my CPU getting overheated. But anyways, as I was saying, because it is getting overheated, so I'm just gonna turn the benchmark off right now, and I'm gonna see you guys in the BIOS, and we're gonna do some BIOS tweaking. And after that, I'm gonna come back again, and we are gonna run the benchmark once again and see the differences. Okay, let's go okay so i literally had to do a voiceover over this because the background fan noise was too much but right now you can see we are in the bios and we are gonna go and turn off two settings from the bios and yes i know the camera is a bit of a shaky because i don't have steady hands and i'm using a dslr to record this uh, so yeah the autofocus is also a bit bad but uh, yeah I'm, I'm just gonna try to let you guys see this so we are first of all we have to go to oc settings here i just went to settings but it was not the thing that we needed to go to so we are gonna go to the oc settings i had the msi before 50 m pro m2 max and if you have an msi motherboard the setting should be the same and then after you go to the oc settings you have to go to the advanced cpu configuration from there you will see these two options the first one is the precision boost overdrive aka pbo and the second is the core performance boost these are the two culprits that are making your cpu overheat so first of all we're gonna go here and disable this sorry for the lack of focus and then again we're gonna go to core performance boost and also disable this and after disabling both of them i'm just gonna go to the settings and we're gonna save and reboot and again i'm sorry for the lack of focus right there because yes it did not take the autofocus but yeah uh, let's just see and as the pc is restarting i'm gonna see you guys in the desktop once again 
okay so we are back to the desktop and after disabling both of them uh, we are just gonna check the core temperature and from here you can already see there is a huge drop drop i mean not drop uh, it's uh, there's a huge drop in temperatures and you can see it was going at, at about like the 70 and now it is in the 40s and all of the like core clocks uh, are like stable like the last time it was like 3.9 and right now they are stable on 3.6 and after uh, this uh, i mean after taking the baseline from here we are just gonna go to the game and take another baseline there and right now i'm just gonna show you guys a side by side comparison of both and obviously i'm also gonna be showing you the side by side like uh what is it called uh, the temperatures for like both before and after and i'll let you guys be the judge okay so let's go into the gta and run the benchmark once again so yeah we're back in the menu of gta 5 and you can already see it is right now around the 50s rather than being in the 70s there is almost a 20 degree drop in terms of the temperature and yes we are gonna go once again and try the benchmark and as i said i'm just gonna show you guys the side by side benchmarks on like these i mean i'm just gonna put the benchmarks both before and after and i'll let you guys be the judge in terms of both fps and the temperature so let's just hop inside the where is it? yeah there is it we're just gonna hop inside the benchmark right there and i'm just gonna show you guys the uh, side by side comparison of both the before and the after so let's go to the comparison so right off the bat you guys can see that there isn't any performance drop at all but there is a huge huge temperature drop because 15 degrees is a lot and yes we are still running on a stock cooler we did not do any repasting or anything like that it is just how it was before no cleaning nothing no nothing needed we just did these two options from the bios and it is running better so that settles it down already because you can see there isn't a huge performance gap between those two it's almost like the same they are getting the same average fps there might be a two to five frame drops here and there and yes there is a bit of a like started in the second clip right here but that isn't actually the problem of the game rather it was the problem of the recorder i don't know what happened to the recording itself but it just like kind of froze there for some reason but yeah you guys can see there isn't a huge uh, performance difference in both of them they are running almost quite identical and yes so i guess that settles it down right there that you don't need to buy a new cooler just to get better performance and at the same time better thermos you can literally do these two and your cpu will not get cooked so that's all for today's video i hope you guys liked it and it was helpful to some of you guys if it wasn't feel free to ask me questions about this and i will try to help as many of you guys as possible and i also stream games on my channel so feel free to join and if it did work for you also drop a comment and tell me and like and subscribe see you guys in the next video bye bye